Uh, I like playing with Ted. Ted's my guy. Um, you got a heat wave out there today, huh? Feels great. You got shorts on. You might think about doing the same since we get outside here. Um, listen, well into Denver. Um, hope everybody had a happy holiday. Um, I don't have much, you know, as normal, I don't really have much to say. I'm going to let you guys roll with the questions. What kind of went into the decision to ask Legarius to, to travel with uh, Yeah, Shady? did a good job, I really thought. Um, and, and Dave and I and Donald really felt that. I mean, LJ's a competitor, and so is in 14. Uh, and we felt like we needed to do that to kind of get us going. I thought he did a really good job all game. He got the one, the one on the sideline, and we really, uh, safety probably should have been over there a little bit sooner. Probably shouldn't even have had that one. And LJ con had a contested one on him, a little shorter curl. But um, I thought the guys did a really good job as a group, making uh, 14 for them a focus and making sure he didn't wreck the game on them. And I think they did a pretty good job. You kind of resisted that in the past. What Not really. Not really. Uh, oh, you mean flipping guys? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now, part of that, part of that goes into, uh, like, in years past, well, we've had Traverius and uh, Breland outside, you know. I mean, it goes into who we have and what we feel like the matchups are. But I, I, I wouldn't say I've, I, I've never resisted it. I mean, we've done it. Um, and I thought it was a good week to do that. Yeah. What was it about this week that made it good to, to do that? Uh, well, when, when Lockett got hurt, you know, that gave him really the one main guy. Um, so that, that was one of the bigger reasons. I'm not saying we wouldn't have done it anyway, um, but that was probably one of the main, main reasons. How much did you need to see that maybe ahead of the postseason that can offer you an opportunity if, because you have other receivers you're going to see? I know you could go week by week, but down the line when you enter the postseason, you could do this maybe against the digs and the... Yeah, the well, we'll see. Um, again, like even Denver this week's got two really good ones, you know, so you got to make a decision there. It's, all, it's just all about the team that you're facing and what they have and what are the other matchups when you do that, um, what problems the offense presents with. Do they move that guy around? Like last week, you know, 14 didn't move around very much. If you have a player that's the same caliber and they're always moving them, you kind of lose the – it doesn't – you know, you kind of lose that a little bit. But, so there's always a lot of things that go into it. Sorry about that. When you look at your coaching career, you, you've been around – some very prolific and productive linebackers, uh, Jeremiah Trotter and Philly, yeah. Laronitis and St. Louis, and now you've got Nick Bolton. Not asking you to compare them, but like, what are some of the similarities that you see? Yeah, like Antonio Pierce is another one we had in New York. The first thing that jumps out is the, the football intelligence. The second thing that jumps out is the football instincts. Some, in some ways, one and the same, but Nick has a tremendous feel for the game. Uh, there's a lot of times that it's drawn up a certain way going into the week and when it changes on him really quick He can adjust the other thing. He's really good at is in game coming over and saying You know, I think we should do this or, or maybe not do that Because of this or because of what they're doing or what the quarterback's saying that's valuable and all those those other guys that you're talking about uh, used to do the same thing it's huge what do you think went into this late season production for George to finally get home a bunch of times and seems like he's... You know, yeah, um, I don't know if I have an answer or secret to that, except that I know that throughout the beginning when we didn't feel like he had... I mean, everybody's... The stat, everybody looks at is sacks, right? And, and when it wasn't happening, I, Joe and I both felt that there were a number of times when he was almost right there or he missed one because maybe he didn't sink his hips. Like, I, th I think there's a few in there that he missed that he could have had. And now I think he's learning that, and maybe the speed of the game, he's getting used to it, and, he get, and he's getting confident. So I hope that continues. That helps us. You just, this is a pretty quick turnaround to play the same team again, but a lot of stuff has happened there. Yeah. The coach mentioned to us yesterday you've got to be ready for about anything because you don't really have a track record for what they're going to be like. Yeah. What sort of things are you preparing for with the Broncos this week? Well, uh, Coach is right. Uh, sometimes it can make it a little bit more challenging because you don't know what the changes are going to be. You know, you, everybody needs a game to see uh, what the new head coach is going to do. The coordinator not changing, you know, we're looking for some probably continuity there or some similarity between the last time we played and this time. But we just got to be ready for anything. I mean, in, in a lot of ways, we make it more about what we're doing and what we should do and how we should execute. and making sure that from the chin to the hairline we execute things the way we need to do and then continue to play fast. I mean, I, I, th I thought our guys played fast, tackled better. To me, that's as important as who you're playing. Um, so whatever they throw at us in this particular week that we may, may not have seen, 
because it is a new regime, so, so, so to speak, um, we got to be ready for it. Steve, since, uh, since Frank's been here, this appears to be the year the most that he's sort of been a mentor for somebody younger at his position, obviously with George. Yeah. I just wonder what you've learned about Frank, seeing him go through that while also trying to obviously be a productive player himself. Yeah, he takes that pretty seriously, I think, um, in kind of mentoring or – you know, at the, at the point we're at in the season right now, being the veteran that's kind of been through it, what to expect, how we need to operate, he's been really good that way. He's been vocal that way. Joe tells me that he's been really good in the D-line meetings with that. Um, studying film, getting ready for this opponent. I know Frank has pointed out some things. Uh, real valuable to have vets on your team that have been through what we're in the middle of and hopefully going to go through going forward. I think it's huge, especially when you have as many young guys as we do. You released the Broncos three weeks ago. Russell Wilson rushed for a season high. Is yeah. that a big focus stopping him yes. again this week? Yeah, that, listen, that, he's still a qual quality quarterback in my opinion. Um, and he hurt us with his feet a number of times. We can't allow that to happen. I think on most of those, the coverage on the back end was really good. He's smart enough to know uh, he's going to get something with his feet, and he did that. Um, I hope that doesn't happen again, but that has been a huge focus, yeah. With Carl Loftus, it seems like even going back to OTAs, getting his hands in the passing lane, panning passes. Is just yeah, he's had a, yeah, he, I, I, mean, I don't know what the, where he is and all that, but I know he's had a bunch of them. There was one, I think it was this past game, there was one real early in a game, I think it was this game, that if he doesn't do that, it was this past game. The coverage on the outside was a little loose. I think it would have been a first down. I thought he saved us on that. Uh, but good pass rushers, not only... Um, put pressure on the quarterback, but to have a timing in their brain of when to put their hands up when they know the quarterback's going to re release it. I think that's a natural thing, and George obviously has a good good knack for that. So can you talk about this pl the play of your safeties? Justin Reed had a couple of big tackles in that game against Seattle, and then obviously one with the interception. Yeah. Those guys have been playing pretty well for the last They game. have. And they, they kind of, there's, there's some continuity there. I think Justin and Juan are feeling better together. The whole secondary, the linebackers together. We're spending a little bit more extra time with the with the two groups together, because I think that's important this time of the season. And unfortunately for Juan, you know, he had that other interception that got taken away. But you know, LJ kind of got a little, a little feisty on that. And he, it was, it was legit. He was doing it the whole game, which was really good. And uh, sometimes you miss and you get called. But uh, yeah, Juan and Justin, I thought they did a nice job. Thanks, coach. Okay, good. Appreciate it. Yeah.